Well, what a fiasco this is turning out to be. Uh, the cable guy was here, he hooked everything up, and he kept trying to get everything to work. The TV would work, the computer would work, and then uh, it would time out, and she couldn't get on her different websites and her email and all that kind of stuff. And then he says, oh, it's an accounting issue. Uh, you're going to have to call up, you're going to have to call up accounting. And, and see, food for thought, whenever you have somebody coming in, uh, to hook up your your computers and and stuff and your TVs and stuff. Mommy was gonna leave me here by myself the other day. After she said, "I'm gonna be here. Make sure everything works. Make sure the computer gets hooked up, the printer gets hooked up properly, the phone gets hooked up properly, and she can get on the internet and all that kind of stuff." Then later she says, "Oh no, I don't have to do that. I I I, I can hook that up. Just make sure they leave the boxes and and everything." And today. I convinced her to come out here, and it's a good thing, too, because when when the guy was here, he, he first says, oh, no, I can't hook this stuff up, and then he and then as it went on, uh, she would ask, okay, where does this go onto on the modem and the, on the router and this, that, and the other thing, and, and uh, so, so once he couldn't get everything hooked up, then she knew there was an issue, so she calls, and the lady tries to help her out, and then she tries to hook all this stuff up and her router or whatever that she has uh, apparently um, isn't working now. I don't even know where it is. Um, uh, I think it fried it or something and so now she's she's uh, having to have the guys come out here and replace some other certain box. I don't know what it is. So it's always a good thing to be here so that the, your your computer gets hooked up properly or your TV gets hooked up properly and all that kind of stuff. And while he was here, uh, remember the other day, I, I uh, was the one to reroute all of this stuff and the guy didn't give me any cable connections and I said, can I have some cable connections for the, for the garage and I'll go ahead and screw those up there. He gave me a handful of these. Isn't that nice of him? He gave me, oh, look at all the ones I got left. Uh, in in here and I've already I've already put the other ones up and I said oh you just screw those into the sheetrock and that's it you don't put any plastic anchors no nope, just screw that in well when you screw it in of course uh, it wants to spin on you but hey it is what it is I put them in he gave me some extra ones so I'm gonna keep these for if, if I ever need them you never know you might need them for something and and it's a good thing I didn't push this in uh, next to the carpet, down below the baseboard, around that tight corner, around the tight corner here, around this tight corner, because I wasn't quite sure how much of this uh, cable I could bend. And I asked him, and I says, "How how tight can I can I make this?" And he says, "A five inch radius." And I'm like, "Huh? Five inch radius? Well, you you could take a piece that's five inches long." and then make a circle out of it and that's as, as tight as you want and I and uh, you know I'm just gonna do like this okay if you're going around a corner ah, that's the piece that's already got the kink in it if you're going around a corner you wanna you wanna be about like that okay you don't wanna kink this you don't wanna take your your cord and and pinch it or something so you can get around a corner so you're like that you see what I'm saying you don't want to pinch it like that you're gonna damage the inside wiring of the coaxial cable you see you, you want to have a, a continuous nice little bend like that so around my inside corner so in, you know when I come up off of the floor I want to make sure I don't I don't get a bend uh, too much more too much more than about than about like that does that make sense and then on that inside corner the same thing like that now granted on this outside corner I might have an issue it might it might show up on the outside of the baseboard but I don't I don't really think it's going to if I do it just right I think I can have it about like that See, here's, here's the cord here. As long as you get it tight to the base like that, and maybe just a little bit more if you want to get it underneath. See, I could, I could leave it like just like that. 
and leave it right down next to the carpet if I want and I could use those clips and screw the clips in if you want to do that you know but I, I think I want to take some time and see if I can't push it in under there we're gonna be here for a few years and you know why not why not spend a little bit more time on it and get it done exactly right so I'll start I'll start at this end maneuver it around here and then see he he hooked up his splitter there that's called a splitter he's got all that and one goes to the TV, one goes to the computer, and one's the main one. And I asked him to make, make me three, three feeder lines. Two that were six foot long, and then one that was 20 foot long. So the guy who gave me all that, I just measured it out. And then I cut this. This is 20 feet long, and the guy put his nice little ends on it. And um, I may never use this, but if I, if I decide to put the computer inside this little closet and make it into like a desk area for the computer then I can take her six foot long piece that's hooked up to the computer and um, change it to the 20 foot piece so I'm set for what however she wants to set up this room and I'm glad again I'm glad I moved the bed and and did all that I didn't want that showing up I mean that would have shown up over in here and um, I, I could have seen it. Now granted, uh, you have your nightstands, the nightstand, there's going to be one fitting over there. So it probably would have been okay. But then it would have been down further into the garage. And there was a big old bean post in here and stuff. And I'm not sure what was down in there. And anyways, we got it all finally. Um, other than the cable guy's got to come back, change out that, her, 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 her router box <laughs> and I think I think it's because maybe when they turned it on or something they should have they should have booted it up first um, and they could have fried it I have no idea I mean this this just happened at, at our other place and um, the guy when the guy shut the service off even though they weren't supposed to because we were supposed to come over to the condo well then we changed it for another three you know a month later but then um, on the tag they, they never changed it so they shut our service off at the house inadvertently oh that did that make Momi very happy of course it didn't and then when they turned it back on they should have had a tech come out because the router should have been or the modem their modem should have been disconnected before they turned it before they turned it back on and when they turned it back on they fried the modem she still couldn't get back on then they some service tech had to come out from from the cable company change out that box reroute the wires make sure everything was hooked up and then it was okay so all these different things for for computer access and TVs and uh, see I just got those little brackets up in there and then I ran it along along the garage you the lights not too good in here ah. I ran it I ran it along the top of the garage door and then zipped over into that uh, box and ran it down here I put a blank plate on here and the guys who whoever, whoever installed the, the plate the plate stops here and it continues beyond this for who knows who knows why they did that I have no idea so there's no screws over on this side but uh, hey, it's in there, and uh, everything's all good after I get done painting. I'm going to end up painting in here one of these days after we get moved in. And then the hole where, where the coaxial cable goes into that blank plate, I can just push, throw some caulking in there. Okay? Uh, I'll do that because I don't want ants or bugs crawling up in there making a home down inside the wall or, or whatever. Okay, it's always always good to do stuff like that. I even see where they have some conduit. They use a piece of conduit here as a raceway, and they even screwed it in. See that screw there? Look at that. So so I don't know what's in there. And see, they didn't caulk that right there. It's no no. I'm gonna go ahead and caulk that when I get all done. And um, see, I could have put that same type of plate over here with the hole. I could have drilled a hole in there, but because 
that was coming out how I showed you. I just kind of cut a notch in the sheetrock and kind of had it come angling out through there. Hey, what difference does it make? You know, all fine and dandy. And so I'm pretty much done with all my my stuff. I, you know, when the cable guys come, I always got to be available because for some reason, for some reason, I have no idea. When he first plugged everything in, the breaker tripped. And um, it was on, uh, uh, which one was it? Bedroom plugs. And there's a test button on here. And this breaker tripped. I have no idea why it tripped. It came down here. If I wasn't here, they wouldn't have known what to do. And uh, do you know what to do when you have a tripped breaker? When the breaker trips, you can't just turn it back on. You have to turn it off all the way until it snaps off. Then you turn it back on. Then if it trips again, you know there's some issue somewhere and uh, you don't want to mess with it. You, there's a wire that's, that's shorted out for some reason. A, a loose wire nut uh, came off inside a junction box. Uh, rat chewed into a wire all kinds of stuff that could happen okay so now um i think my duty is done oh it's not done until i come back up in here and i guess i can spend some time on that i was going to start painting but i think i'll do this i think i'll do this first i'll get this resituated get the wire down so i so i can get it all and then and then his termination because I came up off the floor I'm just gonna stop pushing the wire in uh, down underneath the baseboard probably right in there somewhere and then I'll just leave the rest sticking out and after she has her desk in here once she decides where to have it pretty much it's probably gonna be set up like this with the computer there the copier on the desk here or just below the desk on a little sh shorter thing over here the TV over here is what I'm guessing and then I'll have to I'll have to rebundle up the wires and roll them up nicely with some zip ties or or something my word she's got a lot of she's got a lot of wires going on down here I have no idea what all oh this is this is what this was her her router I guess uh, she claims it's not working now funny thing how coincidental is that the other day it worked just fine uh, when we took it from the other house and brought it over here to the condo now today suddenly mysteriously it doesn't work fathom that now she's got to buy one from the cable company she said screw it I'm not buying another one I'll just get one from the cable company you guys in a matter of fact you guys come out here you bring it out here you hook it up make sure it works and you know if she's not here this is what's gonna happen the guy's gonna get here mark my word the guy's gonna get here he's gonna hook it up and he's only gonna hook it up to certain wires oh no I can't hook it up to your computer because if something happens to your computer you're gonna say it's our issue it's our fault that we owe you a new computer and a printer your printer fried out you poured little things no we're just gonna we're just gonna hook that in line and guess what when they do that mommy comes here and she's gonna plug the rest of her stuff in I'll bet you dimes to donuts I don't even know if that's the same I'll bet you that when she gets here and she has to be the one to hook it up it's not gonna work and she's gonna have to call the cable guys again over the phone oh she's she's livid right now she, th that order got so mixed up and, and, and screwed up over the last couple of weeks it's it's ridiculous she's fit to be tied and so I I kind of hope she's gonna be here when the cable guy gets here but chances are hey we don't live in a perfect world do we and because of that something <laughs> something is gonna go wrong probably but hey my job is pretty much done other than pushing this in once I push it in from here she can have at it with the cable company forever more and then I can I can vacuum the, up this room I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum I'm gonna vacuum up this room put, get the bed uh, that's the other thing I I can slide I can get the bed all back in here my job isn't done now is it she gavity nab it I'll set the bed back up and um, and get it all resituated she ended up getting this bed let's talk I, I wouldn't got to talk about this bed but uh, what what is it a Tempur-Pedic 
a Tempur-Pedic bed and she got the firm. She got the firm. Don't get the firm. It's almost like they put a layer of plywood in here before the covering, but then you push your finger on it and it goes right in. See? Goes right in. But then if they, they say, well, when you sleep, then it contours to your body. But then if you want to move, you have to lift yourself up out of the hole that you just created. You know, see, see right here where it's just been leaning. You now have to lift yourself up out of that hole and slide over onto a hard mattress until it depresses in. And you'd think it depressed right in. It doesn't. And they, they uh, so she's going to get, the, she's going to take that back. I have no idea how, how they got her to buy that. And so they said, oh, well, before we bring, before we pick it up, Give yourself 30 days to try it out. We're not trying it out for 30 days. That's, that's, not, that's not happening. And anyway, she's going to have to get a, a different one. Um, look, at, look at this. This is 12 inches wide. Look at the box spring. This is what they call a box spring for this bed. you believe that? Two inches. It's just a, it's just a, you know, two inches of nothing. And it's, I mean, the things they build nowadays, it's ridiculous. That's it. There's your, there's your box spring. Uh, well, your, your box. There's no spring in that. And, and so I told her, I says, you know, that's only two inches. I said, if you get a different mattress or if you don't even get a Tempur-Pedic, if you get something else, make sure you get something with the mattress pad fluff top on it so it's 12 inches. If it's not 12 inches and if she gets something that's only 10 inches, I said then you're gonna have to change this uh, and maybe they have a four inch little box here. And see they did the same they did the same thing to this big huge mattress. This is a foss this is something else. Uh, Burns something in Burns. Burns and Foster or or, uh, or something. But anyways, look at that fat monster from here down to there. This is their bo little box pad at the bottom. That's only two inches too. And, and even still, look how high that thing is. We're, hey, it's going to work. We can get up on there and stuff. She, they could have almost done it without that box thing at all. But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. So I'm, I'm going to get this thing uh, put back together slid back. I'm, I'm sure glad I didn't try to slide it over this way because I needed the room and um, you know it's hard to move this thing when it's depressed into the carpet. Plus look how they look how they attach this these little funky legs on three three boards everything else kind of kind of flexes and it comes all together it's all connected here and so if you want to slide the bed you can't really just slide it these things tilt and then you're gonna bend the screws inside of that and then as you as you start pulling it see how the uh, headboard I mean they don't make things like they used to look at that headboard I mean when it's put together it looks pretty good but see how you got this is inset in there. You start dragging it, all you're going to do is rip this, rip, start ripping this thing apart. And so I thought, fool me on that, nothing doing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and take the whole thing apart. It didn't really take me that long. It wasn't really that tricky to pull apart. And so I pulled it apart and moved it, you know, because you just have, obviously, you know how beds go back together. But they didn't even have these screws tight. I mean, come on. I ended up having to tighten all those down. The guy just threw it together and oh, you know, they were in such a big rush because that's just how people are. And, and they wanted us to take a lamp that had a bent shade. And I'm like, forget that. Who do you think I am? I'm not, I'm not accepting that. Take it back with you. If you if, and there's a food for thought. If you get anything from a delivery person, and if it's damaged at all, don't accept it. Because if you accept it, then now you're going to have issues. Okay? Um, so you, re you don't accept it, and you have them haul it away. Don't 
say, okay, you can leave it here and we'll bring somebody out here and they can look at it and fix it and blah, blah, blah. No, that's the worst way you can do it, okay? Just if there's a scratch, if there's a nick on it, if it's, there's a gouge, if something's not going together, nope, take it out of here. I don't want it and you guys get me something else and I'm not signing for anything saying that it's okay that um, uh, you leave it. Don't do that, okay? Enough of my rambling and my rant. I'm ready to go to work. Oh, I'm sure glad today's over. Hey, she got everything taken care of. Remember she thought the router she had fried? Well, where, the, where you plug the power in in the back, there's a little button, a push button there, on, off. And as she pushed her uh, wire in, she, uh, her finger hit the push button on off. Can you believe that? So we, we checked it a little while ago before the guy got out here and sure enough, that's what it was. I happened to see it on the back and I said, hey, what's this? And so he got her all connected, verified, everything's done. See how I push that, that cable? That cable's all pushed in there now, isn't it? And um, I got it pushed in all the way along there and I've got it coming out underneath the baseboard right down in there. He tested the wire connection and everything's fine. Everything's working. I had to take the bed frame um, apart just to get it all hooked back up the way it was supposed to be. Got that pushed in there. And I, and I cheated the whole bed over to the left. I only got like 24 a little over 24 and a half inches right in here and uh, it fits that way it gives her an extra eight inches of slop over here that way when she's got her desk here people can still maneuver around and, and um, you know my connection still fits underneath back behind the bed everything looks like it was supposed to be it was meant to be this way and you know takes a little effort sometimes to do things, but you stick with it and you can do it too.